Welcome to High Performance Pitching, featuring Sarah Pauly, with instruction by Rick Pauly. Okay, we're going to take a little look at uh, something that's kind of often misunderstood or miscommunicated or misinterpreted, and that has to do with what does the glove hand do as it's driving forward uh, in the pitching motion. So I've got Sarah set up here. Um, uh, quite a ways into the uh, forward drive position and you'll notice that uh, I've got a lot of little green dots here on the screen uh, those green dots actually track the path of the tip of her glove as she uh, drives forward up and out and uh, as I roll this and I'm going to roll it uh, by hand you'll see that the gloves going up okay we'll just follow the path one time here Okay, it's got a little bit of a crook at the top there and a little bending and whipping. And you'll watch as it comes down. Kind of where it's uh, where I've stopped it here where the uh, ball's near 9 o'clock and the glove's near 3 o'clock in what we would call a really well-balanced position. So if I take this and roll it back, a couple things you should note is the old adage about uh, driving your glove straight out at the catcher is may not be a, a, a good terminology to use with young pitchers, okay, because m most of the um, high-level pitchers that you'll see nowadays have some kind of a uh, whirling action, and that's what we call this is a glove whirl. So if I back this up and we'll go right about here, we'll look at a couple other things, okay. Uh, you're going to notice that when Sarah gets up here near the ball being at the 12 o'clock position, you'll notice there's a bend in her arm, <clears throat> in her glove arm, obviously in her pitching arm, but as much as we want the pitching arm to have a bend for whip, it would be an advantage for the glove arm to have a bend so that that arm also can whip and contribute to uh, the pulling motion that you really want when you pull the glove and the ball down. Uh, so that's a pretty important little aspect here, okay? And I'll roll that down again. And one other thing as I roll it back, we're going to stop Sarah at about 12 o'clock again. And you'll notice that her shoulders, uh, if you drew a line through the shoulders, which um, I'll try to do that right now, um, kind of connect her shoulders right through to her elbow, Relatively speaking, that's a straight line, and then you'll see the uh, glove up here at this angle, or a bend in the elbow, okay, which actually puts the glove up around a 2 o'clock position, which, uh, again, for younger kids, getting that glove up high enough so that when they pull together, they can do things in a balanced fashion. And so, again, I'm going to kind of roll it forward, and you can kind of see as the ball and the glove come down, you're going to see that the ball catches up with the glove, and it's pretty balanced right now. So she's pulling in a balanced fashion uh, with all the muscles in her back and her scap area and things like that. So, uh, again, uh, arm whip or whirl with the glove hand is probably almost as important as it is with the ball hand. So kind of the moral of the story here is, is that the, the glove driving out is not a stiff-armed and it's not a straight out, up, and straight down motion. This whirling motion is very um, rhythmic and there's really no pause or hesitation at the top that um, sometimes you'll see with, uh, again, younger pitchers that maybe have misinterpreted driving the glove out towards the catcher. So make this one nice, smooth, fluid move right through the top of the uh, glove whip and on its way down and I think you'll find that your timing, your rhythm, uh, speed balance and everything just gets better and better and better. We hope you've enjoyed this lesson from High Performance Pitching. Please join us again soon to learn more about improving your pitching skills.